I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. I was eating candy so my tongue is blue so if you notice that, no you don't. But as you can see by the title, we are talking about a Sephora recommendation because it is that time of the year, the first Sephora savings event. So if you guys want to know what I would recommend, makeup, skincare, hair care, body care, all of that, let's go. I really try not to recommend the same things over and over and over again, but I really do typically stick to the same things um so would i recommend the danessa yummy skin balm yes i would but have i put that in probably like four videos now yes i have and i'll have previous recommendations down below because the products are probably still sold at sephora if you want other recommendations but trying to find something new but you know still like true stick to it a go-to this new yummy skin water power serum from danessa absolutely positively i have that on my face today with the yummy skin balm so i've been wearing the both of them as a primer the two together chef's kiss just the finish how makeup looks on top of your face and how it wears throughout the day do not play with the nest my face. and then another primer i would recommend is from freck beauty it is rich uh primer this is a gripping primer y'all know i love me a good grip primer because it just makeup attaches onto it doesn't really move throughout the day so if you're looking for a new primer consider one of these two now this might be the first time but i actually don't think i have a foundation to put in this video i feel like i've included all of them before and lately i've been wearing a lot of um either like drugstore or like you can find it at ulta type foundations like i've talked about them all you know nars sheer glow makeup by mario house slabs Fancy Beauty, I feel like I've included all of them. So I don't have a newer one to include in this video, but like I said, I will include past recommendation videos in the description down below if you are looking for a new foundation. But I make up for it when it comes to concealer. And look at that, who would have thought that we would be here where I have multiple concealers that I not only like, but I would recommend to you guys. Um, it started with this one right here, Givenchy Prism Libre Concealer. This is it's like a glowing under eye concealer but also really well uh wears well throughout the day if you're looking for the you know natural your skin but better type i feel like you would really like this one also my under eyes are drier which is ironic given the middle of my face is where i get oily but that area right there my under eye uh does get drier so i tend to stick to you know more hydrating type concealers and i feel like all the ones i'm going to mention you know that's probably why i like them um, because they don't dry out my under eye even with how much powder that I put on and stuff like that it's a nice balance to where it works out for me and it has a beautiful finish as well Gucci no I bought this shade <laughs> a little light oh the uh Givenchy shade was N390 Gucci is 41C she a little light you know that threw me off a little bit but again blends really well wears really well and the brightness kind of still works for me like it balances itself out especially if you like that bright bright under eye if you do not then you know definitely pick a shade that is closer to being a concealer shade um but this one and it mixes well with the other ones as well because it is so light on the face i'll mix this with the next one that i'm going to talk about and those two together yeah this is that next one this is house labs um i probably like the concealer more than i like the foundation i like the foundation so that should tell you something about how much i like this concealer i feel like this is a good like everyday just easy throw on and go type concealer that's going to hold up really well throughout the face give you a nice really flawless under eye look um but it just gives very like you know every day it could be a work concealer if you're going to school if you know whatever the occasion is it could be like an everyday type thing whereas the Givenchy one I feel like you know if you want to be a little a little fancier you know you got more special occasion or if you're going to be photographed that might be one where you want to consider this compared to house labs but house labs if you do have something you know special prom maternity pictures like those are just the things that come off the top of my head when i'm thinking about stuff like this um it could still work for that but you know if you're looking for like just easy going quick everyday type thing that's what i think and then this one might be the one out of all of them this is the fenty 
wear even hydrating long wear concealer in 400n this is an everyday concealer this is a special occasion concealer this is a you could put this on and you don't wear foundation type concealer and you still gonna look flawless in the face i don't know what she put in this because i like the original concealer that they came out with but whatever she put in this there's a little voodoo some something in this one because it ain't got no business being that good, okay? But it is. When it comes to powder, again, I feel like I've recommended most of them. What was new to me last year, I feel a sneeze coming. No? Okay. Um, what was new to me last year is pink powder. I tried a couple, you know, there was one size, Danessa. I think there was one other pink, but this Cherry Blossom from Huda really does what needs to do it is on my face today um the pinkness at first i was kind of like all right how's that gonna look on my skin tone but i don't know what it is it balances itself out it looks nice and i think sometimes it's nice to have that break from yellow especially because y'all know like i'm not that big on yellow yellow setting powders i'm more of like the beigey type of banana powder type girl so it gives you a nice break and you still kind of get the same effect the same looks uh you just mix and play around with the different uh, colors to see what works for you. But I really like this powder. And I have this in a, uh, what is that called? I don't remember what that shade is called, but like the, the darker, more brown shade if you're using it for like an all over face powder. Okay, setting spray, I would recommend. This is the LYS Natural Finish Skin Loyalty Blur Mattifying Set Makeup Setting Spray. Um, the girlies were comparing this to Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not sure if i would say that this is necessarily giving charlotte tilbury i think it's kind of similar but she really does her own thing and this is a really good setting spray especially if you spray in between layers so if you put on foundation and spray and then put on concealer or if you you know that type of in between setting spray you'll really like this one it does what it's supposed to do blur set and then if you use a setting spray like to you know kind of overall type thing it really locks in your makeup through the day so definitely check this out now y'all know when it comes to my skincare routine, literally a majority of it is Glow Recipe. So just insert every Glow Recipe product here and I would recommend it. And I'm so serious when I say that, but I do have some, you know, little randoms that are thrown in there. First, this Use to the People Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. This is the morning facial cleanser that I use. And as you can see, maybe I don't play about it, okay? Um, like a good lather up cleanser, um, no. That's a, yeah, never mind. I was thinking of a gel cleanser that I use because, you know, they say gel cleansers are better for oily skin. And speaking of cleanser and just how dedicated I am to a Glow Recipe, Glow Recipe has a cucumber, cucumber or watermelon cleanser as well that is in my cart for me to pick up during this sale because literally I am dedicated to this brand. It just be working for me and the skin has been skinning ever since I went back to pretty much an all Glow Recipe skincare routine. But I also have this Kiehl's Ferulic Brew Rejuvenating Facial Essence. Make my way through this as well. Um, you know, Essence, uh, they say, just kind of helps everything else penetrate your skin. Uh, th there's an Essence that I was using before this. And now, I, wow, I can't remember which one it was. I cannot remember what. If you've been here for a minute, then I feel like you know which one I'm talking about, but I cannot remember it. But this is my new favorite. So after this is done, am I gonna repurchase? Absolutely. And then also from Kiehl's is their Better Screen UV Serum Sunscreen. Um, I've just recently started using this, probably like three weeks in, but I have it on, you know, under my makeup right now. No cast, nothing like that, and need that sun protection. So definitely an SPF I would recommend. Okay, now for the body, first thing I have is Slather from Topicals. This is the exfoliating body serum. Does what it needs to do, but I don't say that I didn't tell you this. This stank. And when I say stank, I st funk. I do not like how this smells whatsoever. Good thing you're only supposed to use like twice a week, but those two nights, be suffering, okay? just. I do not like how this smells. What's a real chemically, real just, mm, I don't like it. But if I'm still using it, y'all know I'm sensitive to smells. If I'm still using it, then that should let you know like it does what it needs to do for the body for me to get through those two nights. But 
I'm sure you guys have seen people talking about this. This is the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorant. When I went to Cali with Drea, I saw, I was like, ooh, what is that? She was like, Donna Karen uh, deodorant, picked it up. This smells really good and it keeps you fresh throughout the day. It is like a 30 something dollar deodorant, but do I think it's worth it? Yes, I do. And also this would probably be the time to buy a $30 deodorant. Um, and the last body care product that I had to recommend is from L'Occitane. It is their dry skin foot cream. Yes, yes, uh, so it's a foot cream. Uh, you know, if you don't want dry feet, you know, we just went through winter. If you put on lotion and put on socks and then wake up to really hydrated feet, this is the lotion to do that with, okay? I'm talking hydrated. Like stay hydrated throughout the day, throughout the night, if you especially put it on morning and night. Um, you know, I just wanted like a cream specifically for the feet just so they can really be moisturized, stuff like this. This plus the, if you use the, it's an acid from The Ordinary to kind of like, you know, exfoliate your feet and then using this to moisturize your feet because that's going to dry out your feet after using that. Those two together, we're about to be outside is get pretty feet anklet weather and when it comes to fragrance again i don't want to you know throw the same things over and over and over again in y'all's face like i i just uploaded a video recommending fragrances for the spring so you know i'll definitely link that down below but just throwing them out there you know burberry goddess burberry her princess killian killian princess killian love don't be shy um um by the fireplace most of kayali literally all of those uh mugler uh all of those i would recommend and i'll have them listed in the description down below but you know i don't want to talk too much in this video so that is it for this video and i meant to upload this or i meant to do this in a different video but then i realized i forgot to mention it so i'll mention it in this video i want to do a giveaway i have makeup and you know i'm not doing anything with it so if you are interested in winning a box of makeup i'm gonna have two winners uh let's do a quick little giveaway if you want to be entered so to enter, must be following me on YouTube, must be following me on Instagram. Comment down below your Instagram name and one thing that you are considering picking up during this sale down below or letting me know that you don't intend to shop the sale whatsoever. So those two things you need to leave in your comment down below and you'll be entered to win. I haven't done one of these in a minute. Like probably not since I've moved here. I've just been giving the makeup away, but you know, I wanna get back into that so I'm just gonna pack up box of makeup and send it to you so yeah that is it for this video and even if you don't want to enter let me know in the comments down below um if you are considering purchasing anything from the sale or if you're not considering if you're not interested let me know in the comments down below make sure to thumbs up comment subscribe turn notification bells down below thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.